so the knot we're going to be learning today uh, is called the butterfly knot. Um, it has quite a few applications. Uh, it can be used to make a rope ladder. Um, so if you've, all you've got is a rope and you need to climb a cliff, you can tie this knot. It, it goes in the middle of a rope um, and it can create footholds or handholds. Um, it can also, you can tie it in a knot to create handles if people need to pull on the rope. Um, so in a way it can kind of function like a prussic loop, uh, but a little bit less versatile. Um, but anyway, um, figure out some other applications on your own. Uh, so in the middle of the rope, you want to make a big loop. Um, so I'm just going to teach you one way to tie it. There are several ways, but this is the easiest. Um, so you have your big loop. Um, you're going to twist it once. Then you're going to twist it again. And then right here, you see you kind of have a snowman. So you want to take the head of the snowman. You want to go through the snowman's legs and then through his stomach. So you come over. You go through the snowman's legs. And then you come up with his head and go through his stomach. Boom. So then you pull the knot tight. This, this is how you tie the knot, but then you want to dress it. Um, so you what, do what it's called spreading the legs. So you pull the two ends of the rope out sideways. And there you have the butterfly knot with your nice loop. Um, so that could be your, your handle and your rope ladder. Uh, so that's what it looks like from that side. Here is the other side. So let's do that one more time. So you have your rope. You create a big loop. You make one twist. You make a second twist. Here's the, the snowman. So you come over. Go through the snowman's legs and then up through the stomach and then dress dress out the knot spread the legs so it looks like that this is a bigger loop you could get a foot in there you can imagine all right